Well, it's 2024. One of my uh, resolutions this year was do a little more videos. Going old school with just the phone today because I forgot all my cameras at home. But wanted to show you guys this new truck we're about to start on here. Um, kind of a big project for us. It'll be spanning most of this year, I'm sure. Uh, so we'll do a quick intro video, give you a quick walk around, and uh, go from there. So there she is, the green machine. Uh, maybe you saw it on social media, but new arrival this week. It's a 1979 Ford F-250 that is getting pretty much the full treatment. We are going to be putting a Godzilla under the hood, new transmission. We're going to be doing Super Duty axles under the chassis. And then it'll get full cosmetic treatment. So paint job, uh, body off the frame on the rotisserie. We're going to probably go two-tone orange and white, but still to be discussed. And, uh, you know, fix anything we find in the sheet metal, clean up the interior, do a little bit more customization there. And, uh, you know, overall, completely finished truck top to bottom at the end of the year. Uh, it's not a bad truck. The owner driven it some. He was thinking about putting a 460 in it and just kind of keeping it simple, but decided to go all the way with the Godzilla and the axles and everything. So we're, uh, yeah, we're kind of doing the full kit and caboodle on this one. He had 37 inch tires on it. You know, it's got like rough country suspension, nothing fancy. Um, all that stuff is fine for, you know, a around town truck, but it's not real pleasant to drive. So we're going to try to make it a lot more streetable with uh, our updates here. So I'll pop the doors, we'll look inside, show you under the hood, a couple little things to go with it. All right, under hood, basic kind of 351M setup. As I was saying, it, it runs fine. There's nothing potentially wrong with this motor. It seems to have good oil pressure and stuff, but they're not all that powerful, as you know, and they, uh, you know, carbureted truck, carbureted life, and uh, the owner lives up in Massachusetts, so cold weather starts and all that are challenging. So definitely coming out. Um, under hood, not much is going to be retained. You know, we do all new wiring, all new brakes, all new engine, all new everything. So, uh, mostly the job today is to strip this thing out, uh, get it on a pallet, get it sold off to somebody who wants it, and uh, start fitting the Godzilla. We're going to do a little different approach on this one than we've done in the past. We're going to use the Ford 10 speed auto. This truck has some problems in the floor pans, and we've got to cut them out and redo them. So, we're going to take that opportunity to Put the 10 speed in make any floor adjustments we got to make to fit it and uh, run that 10 speed through an atlas transfer case to get the four-wheel drive action so you may be wondering why the 10 speed it is big it's hard to fit the reason is because it comes with the ford motorsport control pack and the ford motorsport calibration for both the engine and trans so in terms of starting and driving and overall drivability of the engine excellent calibration of the transmission excellent makes this thing a much more pleasant machine than you know kind of piecing together various parts so we're uh, we're excited to try this route we're going to see what the uh the engine position needs to be the sheet metal effect is etc and some later videos but i'm pretty confident we can work our way through that without too much trouble all right interior pretty standard pickup truck stuff um has a little bit of work done the bench seat was redone with this diamond stitch at some point and then like a lot of these trucks, somebody cut a sunroof into it somewhere along the way. The, uh, the challenge is finding a good roof panel to fix these. So we're gonna avoid that and just keep a sunroof and put a new one in, make sure it's all sealed up tight on this guy. The dash is basic. Um, clusters getting replaced with late model stuff. Dakota digital gauges, our usual setup. We're gonna do retro sound and vintage air and all the usuals. But other than that, it'll look pretty stock in here. Um, if we do end up cutting the floor, the goal is to be you know, basically invisible by the time it's all done. You can see it's a manual trans now, so we're converting it to uh, automatic, as I stated, with the 10-speed. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So pretty basic pickup truck interior. Cosmetically, the truck is pretty good. Doesn't appear to have any major accidents, um, but we've got to deal with some metal work issues. There's some rust, so just zoom in down here. Here's a spot kind of see that in the video the uh the cancer's coming through kind of lower bed and if you crawl up underneath it you can see where there's been some patching done on the bed floor and as i mentioned the floor pans were patched and not done very well so we're definitely going to have some work to do on the sheet metal on this thing uh, we're going to keep everything else pretty much the same about it though we'll keep the trim we'll keep uh we're gonna keep the lights on top of the cab and you know and just kind of the basic look of the thing um, but just fix all the rust repaint everything and make her pretty again. So 
that's it. Pretty basic build. I, uh, I'm excited about this one. I'm, I'm intrigued by the 10-speed. We're going to find out uh, how that compares to a lot of the trucks we built with the six-speed transmissions. And uh, we'll let you guys follow along with this as we go through this. We'll have short videos featuring the build, featuring the work as we go through it this year. And uh, yeah, stay tuned.